I have a question for you guys. They gave me all this grief in the news for cheating and winning. What about the guys that cheated and lost? They didn't get any grief at all. What the fuck is going on with that? He's attacking. You want to chase? Oh, well, you say that you know me. Well, how can that be? Well, I don't know. Has and I don't really know all that much about what's going on. Babes of Risky, the American National Park Song Championship. Only the finest and ingredients. Hey, Ben. I've been doing very well. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, retirement looks good on you. Very welcome. Something useful before you can call retiring when you're done. Like, if all you did was ride a bike around for a few years, I mean, you can hardly call that a career. It's cool to see how many of these so-called cycling fans comment on, on social media about how I should be wearing a helmet because I'm a role model. You're not gonna wear a helmet. Oh, you don't have a helmet. I don't have a helmet, Dave. I can make one. Do you have some tape? Describe to me the benefits of CBD. So it's great for just anti-inflammation and pain management, but it's also got a really good uh, sort of calming effect. It helps you manage stress. Because <laughs> it comes from marijuana. It, this this particular CBD comes from hemp. Have you tried these before? I have you not. You never want to do something new on race day. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. a rule. <laughs> Will this be my system for like 30 days or something? I, I don't know. For this particular race, you should probably take a handful. Yeah, no, like how many is like recommended? Like take one? Two. Well, what's in there? Is that whiskey? That's bourbon. Oh, great. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Jesus, shoot. Uh, that's also not ideal on race day. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Riding Fix of Mountains with Pros. That can't be right. Riding Mountains Up with riding Pros. Riding Pros Up Mountains Fixed. Riding fixed pros. You gotta get the preposition before the advert. Let's get into it. Um, how long were you guys' careers? Like, what's the pro card? Uh, yeah, about 15 years. Mine was uh, about eight. Floyd seven, shortened eight. it up a bit. Mine was cut short by a weird event. What do you think you're most well known for in regards to your cycling career? Is that drugs? <sighs> Accurate drugs? assessment. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I want to say absolutely few point. Yeah, man. Dave, I feel like I've embraced it. Your uh, your TT prowess is more of what uh, comes to mind to me. Yeah, I was. Uh, I'm probably best well known for time trialing and wearing uh, superhero suits. I kind of want to get to like understand just like I'm sure this monumental pressure. Yeah, I guess it's pressure in a certain way, but it doesn't always come from outside, right? By the time you get to a position where you're faced with that, you spend a lot of time in your life trying to get there, right? Right. And then you find out it's something different than what you were told, and you don't want to give. You don't up want to give up what you've already done. Yeah. And if that's really what it is, then what's the harm? And you can justify it. I think most people would. I don't. Yeah, Floyd. Floyd. I mean, to his credit, he really went for it. <laughs> <laughs> you were a real go hard in that. Oh yeah. In that regard, like he didn't see. Like in a way, I was still trying to walk this strange line. Like, sure. Okay, well, I'll just put a testosterone patch on, so that I can do some work for uh, someone that's blood doping. I was more of the idea that, look, if I'm going to do this, I'm not going to do it and take all those risks and help someone else win. I mean, especially when that someone else is, now well, never mind. What would be like highlights of like the professional, of your guys' professional cycling careers? You know, just hanging up, hanging up the wheels, <laughs> just being done with it. Yeah, at this point I'm starting to think that might have been the highlight of mine as well. I mean, I enjoyed some parts about it, but the yeah. aftermath after it was a lot of stress yeah. I mean, it's a you know the hero's journey yeah well that's kind of you know what we did you start out here you go into something fucking all fucked up that takes you through the fire and you kind of hate what you're doing and blah 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 and then you get back to here and uh Wait, so where are we now we're almost heroes i'm almost certain my lower back's gonna hurt soon you guys are getting pretty old these days, right? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> well, yeah. Well, let's say it like that. <laughs> I thought the bikes were just a prop for the hipsters. They actually ride them? So I know you guys sell Floyds of Leadville jerseys and kits. 
Uh, but talk to me about these yellow ones. Are these only for official like Tour de France jersey winner or wearers? No, no, we're gonna sell them. <laughs> <laughs> and if you buy one, you can just say you won the Tour de France. It doesn't even matter because currently no one has ever won it. They've, they've all, <laughs> they've all been just taken off the list. So anybody, anybody can claim it. I'm gonna stop for a second. All right, break time. How about we make it up to this uh, no, saddle? <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> This is something that's probably never been seen. <laughs> I did this all the time. And yeah, nobody saw it. <laughs> oh, Might be a good spot to get free mount. Should try it? What about you, Dave? What would be like the worst injury you've had? Yeah. In 2003, I got hit by a car and that took me out for close to a year. I mean, I should have probably stopped, but you know. Like then, to recover, uh, yeah. or you mean like you trained through it? I should have just stopped racing. Oh, in general? It just gave me too much PTSD, so I was never really the same. That's why I like the time trials, because I was always alone. I know what that feels like, because I, when I, a couple years ago, I, I was painting on a ladder dr and drinking, and the ladder fell out from under me, and now I don't like to go on ladders. My muscles are starting to feel a little strained. I need to get me some more Lloyds. I could use some. We want some? Here you go. What would be like the craziest thing you've seen in like the pro peloton? I've seen uh, beer gun bazookas. What? <laughs> beer beer gun bazookas. I saw a guy get road rash without crashing once. <laughs> <laughs> in this bullshit race called Milan San Remo, there was a tailwind. They were going so fast. I stopped to piss one time, and all the cars in the entire caravan, everything was out of sight by the time I was done. Oh shit. <laughs> I still you, got back on, it was like a 40 mile an hour tailwind. And there's a bunch of little, really small Italian winding roads right with these rock walls on the side. This guy got pushed over and he's grinding against the wall, he's yelling. Somehow everybody kind of moved out of the way. He came back, he was all scraped up, he had blood all right over. Right against the wall. He didn't even, <laughs> he didn't even crash. But in the Giro one time it started raining and we were going over some cobbles. And the, it was down uh, near Sicily where there's a lot of oil on the road. And I swear to God, like over a hundred guys right in front of me. It looked like a movie, like God just did this and they all crashed. Just blew on them. A hundred guys just fell all down at once. once. <laughs> it was amazing. Have you guys like ever entered a race high? Like high on, on, I have actually. on weed, marijuana. Oh no, I was high on, uh, they injected that, uh, what's that shit, the uh, Tramadol. Oh yeah, we were basically high. Yeah, we, we would inject before the time trial. I don't know if Dave did it much, but it was very common in cycling. You inject intravenously opiates like tra tramadol or something like that, and you don't feel anything. It's like it's like morphine. But I'm assuming this is a banned substance. Oh well, no, it's not. What? Yeah. No. After I crashed one That's time. That's the crazy part. Oh. Marijuana is banned, but you can take all the Vicodin you want. I did do an entire stage race drunk once. <laughs> it was in Mexico. I mean, what do you expect? Uh, 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 fuck. Fuck this bike. <laughs> I think I'm opening up. <laughs> go, Juju. See you guys. Look at him go. <laughs> Jesus. You got to slow down. Dave! <laughs> oh. Hey asshole, you fucked it up. Now we gotta go up another climb. <laughs> huh? They wanted us to all be in the front, yeah. but we couldn't get ahead of them. You so can't tell us to keep speed up, up if you're going faster. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the attacking part. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it. Where are you going? I can run very fast. It ain't me. Say I hurt you, hurt you so bad for something we never, we never, never had. Well, I don't know who you thought I would be, but I'll tell you, it ain't me. You're gonna accuse me 
Riddle of lies that are nothing natural for me to be. And I am so truly sorry. But the one to save your soul, dear child, it ain't me. It ain't me! Legs are blown. <laughs> he goes strip, last shot. Uh, I guess we're going to the strip now. Oh, this is delicious. In 30 seconds, name as many strains of marijuana as possible. Purple Rain, Gorilla Glue, uh, Tired Turtle, Prince's Revenge, Chili Fries, Lazy uh, Octopus, Ganja Goddess, Astro Turf, um, Ugly Dude, Brown Recluse, Homer, uh, uh, Gas Station Toilet, Stinky Pinky, <laughs> uh, Wood Door, <laughs> uh, Upside Down uh, uh, Monkey, uh, Mandingo's Revenge, Jalapeno popper. <laughs> <laughs>